So you got your New Year's resolutions all figured out. You got them written down. You're going to lose 30 pounds in 30 days. You're going to start writing that book. You're going to start all these different things. And 2019 is going to be year for you. It's going to be completely different from all the other New Year's resolutions. And this is where it's hard because a lot of people get motivated come January 1st. But, you know, come at the end of the month or possibly even 60 or 90 days after that, you know, more than half of those people drop off. But that's not going to be you, not this year, right? So how do you do that? How can you actually allow these changes to stick? Well, the biggest thing is to actually start looking at them in the aspect that it's not going to be a temporary thing. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to lose 30 pounds in 30 days, you might actually achieve that. But the problem with it is, is that you're gonna lose that 30 pounds. And then you're gonna be like, I made my goal, I am done for the year. And then what happens all the rest of the year is you make up for that fact that you were so angry and frustrated that you actually were on that diet. That you start eating all this other junk food and you end up gaining all that weight back only to have the same resolution next year. So the best way to actually do this is look at it from a completely different perspective. Is to actually look at if you're gonna start writing a book or you're gonna start losing weight, whatever you're trying to do for the new year, is to actually establish a routine that will set you up for success. That means breaking your current routine and realize that it will never be the same. That this new routine is the new you, this is the resolution, is the lifestyle change. It's not some fad diet that's gonna drive you up the wall and you know make you wanna eat like a whole cake and a bunch of cookies right after the fact that you get off that diet because you've been cutting carbs or you know you've been cutting fats or whatever the case is. You wanna set yourself up for success. So that means that routine has to change. It's gonna be a new routine that's gonna set you up for your life. That's not saying you can't alter your routine a little bit to, you know, better include different things in your life. You can always do that, but you want to know that this ultimately is a lifestyle change. And don't go off these fad diets because yes, they will provide you results, but you will gain that weight back if you're not, you know, continuously doing a good, healthy, strong diet. Or if you even want to start writing a book, you want to plan that out, right? And then be accountable for that have someone there that's gonna be like okay well this year is gonna be the year that I'm gonna write my book and then you start writing you know for 30 days you do maybe th uh, 20 minutes every day and then you know at the you get about halfway through and you're like ah, forget it you know I'm not gonna do it anymore and then you just drop it and that book never gets finished you gotta set yourself up and make yourself accountable. Tell your, tell your spouse or tell your family or tell a good friend, somebody that's gonna keep you accountable, whether that's for that book or for your health or whatever the case is, find an accountability partner and make sure that you're telling them, hey, if I don't own up to this, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks because I wasn't accountable. It has to be something you're gonna be like, ooh, man, that hurts. It can't be something like, naughty, naughty, you shouldn't be doing that. You told me you were going to do this, but you didn't do it. Because then you're just going to be like, ah, yeah, well, you know, let's just go get a drink. It'll be okay. We'll forget about it. And then you'll be making all the same New Year's resolutions again next year. So remember, it's going to be a lifestyle change. Remember that you are going to make these changes, adapt your routine, start incorporating new good habits that can set you up for success. Like if you know you're trying to lose that weight and you really don't have time at the end of the day, you find yourself running through fast food at the end of the day, the best thing to actually do is prep your meals. That sounds like a lot of work up front, but again, it's changing your routine. It's knowing that every Sunday you're going to cook the meals for the week. So when you come home, you're not, you don't set yourself up to want to go to fast food. Yeah, you'll have days where you're like, man, I, I would really like, you know, to go grab a taco or something like that. And then it's like, no, I have this food already cooked and then make sure you do that. It's getting over that hump. 
you know, you gotta do it so many times and then it actually becomes easier, right? Your routine becomes easier, you start getting used to that. And our minds are programmed to do that, right? It's to actually keep our bodies safe and secure and to go back to those things that make us comfortable. This is one thing we have to understand is that we don't wanna be comfortable. We wanna establish that new routine. Yes, you will get somewhat comfortable to that new routine, but it won't always be comfortable. But you have to understand if you wanna make these changes and make them actually stick, you're gonna to have to make sure that you are a little uncomfortable. And you wanna make sure you have that accountability partner and you wanna make sure that you're setting yourself up. So if you know every day after, after work, you're gonna be like, hey, you know what? I really wanna work out after work and I have like a small window, you know, set your clothes out, right? Set your clothes out so as soon as you get home, you just change and you go or put them in your bag and get changed before you even leave work. And that way, you know, you, you trigger that trigger that in your mind, hey, I'm, I'm going to the gym, right? I'm in my gym clothes, I might as well go to the gym and then just drive there. And there'd be a lot of times, I know even for myself, like, you know, I'll throw my gym clothes on, I just still don't wanna go. I'll get in the car, I still don't wanna go. I'll drive to the gym, I still don't wanna go. I walk inside the gym, I still don't wanna be there. So you just gotta keep forcing yourself. Keep forcing yourself all the way through everything. Just go through the motion, make it a routine. And once it's a routine, then it's kind of just like on autopilot and you just do it. There'd be days that you don't enjoy doing it. And there'd be a lot of days where you don't enjoy doing it. And there'd be days that you do really enjoy doing it, especially when you start seeing results. It's the same to do with your book, right? If you are going to be writing an hour every day, well then do that every day for an hour. Block out that time and make sure you do it. And if you feel, well, I'm just too busy after work, well then wake up earlier. Go to bed later, whatever you gotta do. If you feel like, you know, at the end of the day, your brain is shot, you can't write, then go to bed early, wake up early, and actually start writing when your brain is fresh. The thing is, is we spend so much time, you know, watching TV, trying to do all these different things to occupy our brains, you have time. Cut into that time where you feel that you are watching too much TV. Yes, all these episodes and all these new shows that are coming out, you know, that's great. But if you actually want to make these changes, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices. And sacrifices, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You're trying to improve your life. Well, whatever that is, if you're trying to improve your health, if you're gonna try to improve by making a, creating a book or you know, starting a business, whatever the case is, you're gonna to have to make some sacrifices. And making sacrifices does include that entertainment time because we spend a lot of time on the entertainment stuff and not as much time on the things that we should be actually paying attention to. And that's our health, that's our well-being. That's doing whatever else we can do to improve our life, to make ourselves better, to make ourselves stronger as individuals. So I hope this helps you guys actually get in that right, proper mindset for setting your New Year's resolutions. And if you guys actually enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.